All right. <clears throat> Talking in circles may work on others, Socrates, but not on me. I don't speak in circles or any other shape. You answered one of my questions and that brought another to mind. And another. Ooh, and another. Cassandra! I knew you'd change your mind after turning me down. Unfortunately, love must wait a little longer. Whatever you say. I hate to cut our conversation short, Socrates, but I believe you've talked enough for the both of us. We must find another use for that mouth of yours. Speak to him long enough, and you may find the smallest hint of knowledge veiled deep behind his uh, enthusiastic advances. <laughs> A compliment and an insult in the same sentence. He truly is gifted. You've arrived at the perfect time. I have a friend named Sophanes who wants to become an Athenian citizen, but he needs a bit of help. Your help. I can't wait to hear why it's my help he needs. Any Mystios would do, really, but you're my favorite. All you need to do is sign my friend's name on a little list. This sounds simple. Now tell me why it isn't. There's this small matter that you'll have to enter the Metroon, where you're not allowed, and forge his name well enough, of course. So he's trying to become a citizen illegally. <laughs> you should have led with that. I'll try to remember that the next time. The building you're looking for is near the Agora. Be safe. Okay. Did you fo get what you're... No. This is this blah blah blah. Didn't mean to click that. <clears throat> All right. Where am I going here? Uh, All right. So, um, did a few things. Nothing too important. I think I landed on the island that my this girl's mom lives on. So. Might be important later, but nothing. I didn't find her or anything, so. Not an issue. Um. Killed a lot of. Uh, bounty hunters. Like four or five or something like that. Quite a bit. Did a few missions. Um, finished that chick's. Uh, that girl. The small girl that needed some pearls and things for a necklace. Played that. It's easy. It's dumb. Wasn't worth anybody's time. There. His name's been signed. Time to get back to Alkibiabis. And yeah, that's about it. Um, I did do some traveling. S and. What's that? Did do some traveling. Went down here. And up here. Uh, got these. I think. This one. So now we can fast travel. A little bit faster. So taking a horse. But, um. Where to? Um, what do we, I don't know that we really need to be in Athens anymore. I think the only reason we were really in Athens was to find our mom, or people who knew where my mom could be, but, um, I think we found the island or something, so, shouldn't, shouldn't be too much of an issue. Talk to this guy saying we did it. My favorite Mystios returns. So funny, his name is on the list, but it came at a price. They all died. I see. Well, sometimes blood must be shed. You were the right Mystios for the job. You have anything to say? Scratis? Scratis? Scratic? No? Of course you now have something that to say. Forged my friend's name on the citizens list, uh -huh. there's one more thing that needs to be done. 
One more thing. Next time you want me to do two things, tell me both at the same time. The second is dependent on the first. I needed to know it was complete. I didn't expect you to get so upset about it. Just tell me what you need. Unfortunately, getting Sofani's name on the list doesn't make him a citizen. He also needs a witness who can validate his citizenship. Why can't so you? you want me to be the witness? If only it were that easy. No, there's someone I have in mind. An extremely handsome man by the name of Pelos. Okay. I'll find your handsome witness. Perfect. I knew you'd be willing to help. Time to find He's off and per I'll find him. Don't worry. <laughs> um Oh boy. Talk to the witness. North of the Mint. The Athens Mint. Alright. Yeah, but I don't think there's really m much else to do in Athens. I don't really want to call to kill Pericles. To kill. Um, we'll do this one next. But uh, I do have a sh some ship upgrades. I got this because I killed some dude. Who was also a part of a cult. The cult. Um, still have enough money. Only 150,000. Uh, that'll do. So now our arrows are fully maxed out. Uh, 200 meters. Where's my horse? I think this is the gym area. The witness. There's there we go. All right. All right, Athens, getting tired of you. You start doing some more important things instead of new citizens. That's the guy Alcibiades called handsome. You tell Theon I'm not giving him any more. If he wants to talk to me, he can come himself. I'm not here about that. Well, uh, what do you want then? There is a man trying to become an Athenian citizen. You're going to be his witness. Me? Why? Because Alcibiades said you're the one to do it. Ah, Alcibiades. He is persistent. And who is this man I meant to help? No, I don't His even name know. is Sophanes. Sophanes? I know that name well. I won't help you though, not for him. <laughs> I don't care what he's done. You're still going to help me. I won't help someone who betrayed his men to the enemy for Drachmi. And you shouldn't want to either. Men like him don't deserve to live, let alone be citizens like the rest of us. Ah, look, it isn't your fault. You didn't know, but now you do. Sounds like Vion may be sending someone to collect from you. Wouldn't it be nice to have the Drachmi you need? Ah, uh, fine. I'll do what you want. <laughs> $200. All right, let me fast travel or walk back. See, this is what I'm talking about. Just stupid stuff that they make you do. Like, all right, thanks for doing that. Like, yeah, okay, it's a cool story and all, but like, what do you have? Why does? Why do you have me do it? Like, what am I even getting out of this? I don't even know. Oh boy. Just coming from behind. That'll do it. Um, and this guy. Getting closer, but I'm not gonna. Oops. Didn't see that guy.
that bounty hunter will definitely come for me, so I don't need to be chasing him down. <gasps> All right. You've returned, mm -hmm. Socrates too, it seems. Much like you, he just can't seem to stay away. I hope there were no issues. Yes, he just needed a little push. Ah, I was worried about that. Well, you did the right thing. It's done. So it is. I'll let Sophanish know what happened. Do not bad citizens do harm to their neighbors and good citizens good? Is it possible to tell if someone will be good or bad without first giving them a chance? person isn't the same forever. Someone bad can become good. But is the inverse not also true? Someone considered good can then become bad? How can we predict someone's actions now, let alone in the future? We can't. One thing I've learned is people are unpredictable. That's what makes my job so hard sometimes. If what you say is true, we can either hope we are right and that people will be good, or limit the risk by not giving people like Sofanis a chance. I wonder then if bad actions can reverse good or good actions can reverse bad. Perhaps we can speak on that another time. Maybe. Thank the gods. <laughs> uh, come no judge. Free speech. Socrates, Socrates. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not killing Pericles. That's not happening. I'm not gonna be the man, or I guess woman, to take him down. I call that impression the lap dog. I wonder how many scraps Hermipos has received from Cleon's table. Hermipos has gone too far, Socrates. Pericles gave everything to Athens. Yet, we must still hear of Cleon's greatness. Aristophanes, have you not done seemly things to Hermipos? How dare you compare me to that man? His plays are a nuisance. Something I could come up with in an afternoon, and a drunken one at that. Mine are for a clever audience. The same audience you judge. Should it not be clever enough? Careful, Socrates. Else I make you a character in one of my plays. Do you agree with Socrates that Hermipos should say what he wants? They're only words. Hermipos should be able to say what he wants. No matter what he says. What if he devoted his life to slandering you? Not just in Athens, but throughout the land. Saying what he wants doesn't mean he would escape my spear. <laughs> Then, everything we say has a consequence, even if we are allowed to say it. Uh, an intriguing thought, wouldn't you agree? If you have such an issue with Hermipos, why not do something about it yourself? I'd like to, but I haven't been able to find him. Maybe you'd have better luck. It can't be that hard why? to find Hermipos. Why? That's what I thought as well. Maybe he's afraid I'll find him. Wherever Hermipos is, I hope... My God, like, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Can you find this guy? I know exactly where he's at, but can you find him? It's just this kind of stuff that... But I still do it. For now. Let's kill this guy. You suck.
My horse is a little faster. Alright, Nikoros. Doesn't look like Arlipos is here. I should take a look around. Good, now I have to find clues. And then go somewhere else. I need to stay hidden. Looks like Athens has plenty of guards. You don't belong here. From the cult of Cosmos. Hmm. Hermipus must be a member. Well, he's gonna die. Sorry. If he actually is, I don't know. But it's not good. Looks like Cleon made notes for Hermipus on his play. Everyone's a writer. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. All right. This is a lot of money for someone like Hermipus. Explains his residence, at least. Exactly. He's got a he's got guarded a guarded house, and like at least three stories, technically. All right. Where to? Where to? Not a very good painting. Just had to destroy it real quick. <laughs> All right. Come on, stop running! I didn't kill anybody. What is it? I couldn't find Ermipos, but I did find out something about him. He's a member of the cult of Cosmos. Then it's no wonder he attached himself so closely to Cleon. Discrediting Pericles and his beliefs in Athens would benefit Hermipos and the cult, I'd imagine. Hermipos is definitely a problem. Do you still believe he should say what he wants, Socrates? I know not what I think, nor what I know. Ah, yes, you deserve a play of your own. <laughs> what is a leader? If he hides behind the walls he built himself. Send me fire, storm, or sickness, but bring me justice for my city. Well, you're kind of hiding behind your walls, in a way. Alright. That's me. S2, already passed S1. Good to know. This person's in the arena, which we still haven't been to, because I've never done the arena, but it's no big deal. We can definitely go there. Look at that. Yeah, these guys are way above me. 85. Not even close to that. I'm, what, 65? 60? Anyways. Uh, I don't think I have any actual good clothes. Armor, rather. All right, <clears throat> where to? Yeah, let's kill him. He's probably gonna be an easy kill. There's 61, right? No, just 16. Okay. All right, let's get back on my horse. Even though I just came from there. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> uh, 
know what that guy's running from. This must be the prison. I'm done, I'm done. Relax. Alright. Let's kill this person and then we will reevaluate what is needed. Let's turn it down a little bit. Indeed. Indeed. Just give up. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's uh. Let's hit up this, and then we'll we'll. We'll take this route, but I definitely need to uh, take out this bounty, bounty hunter. Oh, played yourself. All right. Let's see. Looks like these, these walls are closed due to the the war, I'd assume. Of course I can't climb up. Let's uh, follow the road and go to the marker. Alright, <clears throat> that can't be the fastest way, but alright. Hmm. See if there's any new Assassin's Creed news. $120 for the Ultimate Edition. I'm good, I'm good. Won't have any big progression walls in the main story. I don't really know what that means yet, but it says the new Assassin's Creed won't pump the brakes on the story by hitting players with level barriers, according to the uh, the director. So I guess um, you you have to have you don't have to have a certain level before you do things, I guess, which is good. That's a nice horse, Socrates. It's a very nice horse. A sturdy horse. It's also a stolen horse. It looks like I'll have to report you, Socrates. It's what a good citizen would do, right? Oh, very good. Although a bit preemptive without all the details, wouldn't you say? It was a joke. The real question is whether there is truth behind the joke, or if one's mind can be changed once the whole story is revealed. What story is that? There is a man nearby who is responsible for stealing the horse. I've been contemplating the proper course of action, but I'd like to know what you think is right. Great. And how should I make my decision? Your thoughts are your own, but speaking to the thief himself may help you decide. Can such a crime be justified? It's an interesting thought. Where is the thief now? I told him to wait by the stables southwest of here. If you caught him stealing a horse, what's to say he won't just run away? The hope of keeping the horse. That's where you come in. I'll let him tell you the rest. Alright. Yeah, 
need to uh, get the synchronization point soon. Probably do that right now, actually. Looks to be closer. Right after I kill that guy. Cool, cool, cool. I feel like they did a great job of this game, and it's just they did a little too many. They made it too big, I feel like. I don't know. Me complaining again. Overall, good game. Come on. Assassin's armor. Nice. Come on. Get down. Who's this? I don't know. Perius. Don't know who that is. Kinda reminds me of like a like a health thing, you know, with the snakes. Who knows? Well, this is Athena, so... Alright. Come on. We gotta talk to a horse thief. A little laggy today. Another thing over there. Good catch. There's no way you wouldn't break your your hands that way, you but here, cell, huh? oh boy. I should watch my step around here. You're too weak. <laughs> Not entirely sure how that happened. Oops, missed. That dude is spur. Wow, really? See, I cannot deal with these stupid explosion arrows. They only kill me, I swear. Literally, it's so annoying. I wonder if these mercenaries were really that big of a factor in these these ancient wars. Probably. I don't know. It's kind of not like Greece to have non-national people. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like, uh, nationalists, I guess. Like, why Why are there people that are constantly trying to choose the other side, help the other side out, is what I'm trying to say, I guess. Well, I don't know how I'm supposed to talk to him if he's just going to run away. Ooh. I don't think I'm supposed to kill him. <laughs> He's fine. He's fine. Don't worry about him. He's just on fire. Nearly dead. No matter. Just don't heal. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let me get rid of those. Really struggling today. I see him. You're just going to be a bother. All right, now let's talk. Are you the one who stole the horse? Socrates said I should talk to you. Bad enough being caught, but to have a mysterious judge me. <laughs> Better than an Athenian guard. 
Anything to say? The man I stole it from won't even miss it. He has plenty of others, while my only horse died last week. If I had the drachmi to buy a new one, I would have. I don't care. Any reason you picked this specific horse? It was the easiest one to take. Other than that, not really. Though, I did make sure it wasn't his best horse. A courteous thief. <laughs> I didn't steal it for fun. I did it because I had no other choice. No other choice, huh? Did you steal the horse to use it or sell it? I have a family to feed and this horse will help me on the farm. Plus, I have no other way of traveling right now. There's no Walking? other option? Not that I could think of. Trust me, I feel shame for what I did. Goodbye. I have enough information to make it. I hope you can understand. Look, I mean, my opinion is, yeah, you'll do whatever for your family, right? But you really gonna steal to do that? Is that is that worth it? Oh, okay. You know, if that was a totally last option, but it doesn't sound like that was the last option. Sounds like all of that happened was. Uh, let me talk to this person since it's closer. Don't want to keep on traveling back and forth. Alkibiagis, you look like you're having fun. <gasps> the gods work fast. I wished someone as beautiful as me were here, and you arrived. It's almost unfair for the both of us to be in one place. It'll make everyone else feel bad. Oh, don't worry about them. These poor fools have accepted their fate. The gods decided many should lack in beauty while you and I bathe in it. You do realize the sun is out, right? Yes, what about it? Starting a bit early, aren't you? Starting? No, no. This is ending in the most spectacular fashion. Another successful party, then. The only kind I know. Although I have a slight problem. There's an important politician here who really needs to get back home. But gods know I can't make the trip. Okay. I'll make sure he gets home safe. Yes, safe. Right, it should be an easy trip. Although you may have to carry him at this point. Lucky man. I'll try to get the politician home before he completely passes out. Wonderful. Uh, just take him north of the port of Piraeus. His home is somewhere around there. I think that's where I'm heading. Perfect. Come on, horsey. Come on. Blah, 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 blah. Why, why did my horse walk away? Come on. It's still one of the weirdest actions. <laughs> like doing a whole 360, or like at least 180, trying to get on that horse. Now the world is spinning and bouncing! Joe Rogan on Spotify. Spotify's not bad. Um, Let's hope no one notices me here. I, I don't really have an issue with it, honestly. I think I think I might go back to Spotify over YouTube Music right now, just for just because I don't know. Why are we going this way? Are you sure this is the right way? It doesn't look familiar. You said it was Why did you bring me here? You said this is where it's at. Is this really where he lives? Ah! It's exactly like we were told! Get him! Shit, you're ready! She's mine! Oh. You! You're too fast! <laughs> One shot to Any reason someone would want to kill you? I'm a politician. Could have been anything. Thank you. <laughs> I thought he was. Come on. I thought he burned up on my horse. I was like, well, that sucks. But now he can walk fine. He's he's he had no issues. Shocking. All right. 
Thank you for lagging out once again. Appreciate it. Not sure why it's doing that. It's freezing every few minutes. Kind of annoying. All right, horse thief time. Have you decided what should be done? It doesn't matter why he stole the horse. It belongs to someone else. You surprise me yet again. I truly believed you would choose the other side. Because I am a mysterious? Of course. <laughs> yet when it comes to someone else, you decide a crime deserves a consequence no matter the reason. A safe choice, although I can think of times when it may not be right. The real question is whether my decision matters at all, or if this was just another test to see what I would do. There is a good chance it is both, but an equally good chance it is neither. Thank you. Now you're not making sense on purpose. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just? Or should the man be punished? The outcome may be better, but he should still be punished for his crime. That is true, yet if his peers were to decide, especially those he saved, they may argue that though the action was wrong, it was necessary and just. I'm not sure the law cares about the reasons. But if we are to decide whether the law should act on a man, or if his crime should be pardoned, the worthiness of the action should be taken into account, should it not? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such things. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Good talk. Yeah, I uh, I, I stand by my decision. Um, I think she explained it pretty well. All right, onward and forward, or something like that. I don't know the saying. Regardless, taking out this cultist. We don't do much. Looking around, I, I, I don't know. I, I think that's uh, they didn't do a great job of making you look around at this game and like make you stop and think about like, wow, that's weird. Like, look at this detail on this brick; it's pretty decent. But I will say. Um, the mission where you had to go to the different places for that blind guy that was that was pretty cool I will admit that because you couldn't really you could but you it's hard to do them all at once so it made you actually do it like throughout your game because some of them were in different locations it was actually pretty slick I <clears throat> I like that that was a good that was a good interesting mission that I enjoyed I wish it had a better resolution and a uh, Wish I would have done some different things, like maybe ha he would have had a different past, or he still had a cool past. Um, he was like the Xerxes' son or whatever, right? Which is pretty cool. It's just like, eh, I don't know. Didn't really add that much to the story. Opinion. Oh. Just give up. Straight to Addis. Go, 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 go. This is almost boring. All right. <clears throat> My gosh, there's so many bounty hunters. What are you gonna do, I guess? I just want my 
And of course he's got a tiger. Or a lion, sorry. A very untextured non rendered lion. There we go. Yeah, that lion did nothing. Well Where to? Death of a traveling merchant. Uh, all the way over there? No. I'm gonna go kill this uh, cultist. I'm gonna bring it around town. All right. <clears throat> all right. Rowers to positions. The commander is taking the helm. Probably circle around. I bet that's a dead end, so I didn't plan on going there. Still in harbor, not in the open water yet. I feel like we're in the open water now. Keep a watch for any enemy vessels. And the high seas. Alright, so... Gosh dang it. Increase speed. Um, I th think I've killed three Lower, cultists. Getting too close to the water, or I mean the the shore. That's why it's Increase doing that. Speed. But I think Lower I've killed speed. three or four. This may be the fourth. Regardless, we don't have enough to upgrade our spear, which is not a big deal since we just upgraded it. Um... Need time to rest. Yeah, yeah. Let's move. Let's move. More oars. I don't think they can pull the oars any faster. Go. I don't think I can get any closer. Attention. Commander leaving the helm. Gosh. I don't know what's why it's wanting me to go under there, but. There's nothing up here. Alright. 120 marble quarry. No big deal. Let's destroy it. It's gonna be guarded. Nope, not down. Gotta go up. And then we will go from there. Since we hit level 50 a while ago, we unlocked some of the DLC quests, which we may start here soon. Kind of just want to get further in the uh, hey, the mission before I. Um... Oh yes, you are. <laughs> yes you are. Good try. <laughs> I am not going to die here. As I die here. You shouldn't have crossed me. Good try. Wonder what that is. Um, nah, I don't really feel like doing this right now. So I'm not going to. Let's get back. And then we'll find a different quest to do. Killed that guy pretty easily. Let's take this ship. There's a boat. Let's look at the map. Um, no, no, I'm not doing that. Cause that's a that's one of those time things that happen. I'm not I'm not doing that. Anyways, um, let's take a look at our quest that we need to finish. Let's do this one. All right, back to Attica, I guess. Uh, all right, this way. 
Cool statue. Looks like it's made out of bronze or copper and a little bit of gold. Interesting. Maybe a little brass, I don't know. Not sure which came first. Figure even copper would have turned green by then, even even if it was built recently. And the weather it's not gonna last. Um Should I kill this guy? By the way, I tried to kill him, but it didn't it didn't work, so I said nah. Alright, Hippocrates. Hippocrates, Hippo, Hippo, Hippop and Hippopadu. You have the habit of appearing the moment I need you. What a power I may wield. Is there ever a time you don't need me? Good point. Good point. The drunk politician you had me take home. We ran into a bit of trouble. That's terrible. I'm glad to see you're okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, we both made it out alive. Oh, I see. Thank you for telling me. You seem disappointed. I'm just uh, impressed that you were able to save the both of you. You said you needed something? Ah, to business already. Fine. It's simple, really. There's an item that holds great sentimental value I'd like you to retrieve. Um. What do I need to find? It's an Olysvos. If you saw it on the ground, even you wouldn't bend over to pick it up. But it means so much to me. To hold it again would mean more than you know. That seems a bit emotional, even for you. You've gone soft. I'm anything but soft, I assure you. Focus, Alcibiades. What is an Olysvos? It brings pleasure. When my body grows too tired after a long night, Having one of these can let the fun continue. Great. I'll get the honest bus for you. There's a small chance the woman may wish to keep it for herself, uh, to spite me. It may be best to go unseen and hurry back. She lives east of here. Don't worry. You'll have it in your hands soon. We need to be done with this guy. I'm tired of him. Look, Cox, your sister. Maybe that'll hit someone. That'd be kind of cool. Very Salon. I need to be careful. All right, let's be careful this one time. <laughs> I think I'm funny. <laughs> How am I supposed to be careful? There's three guards. Hopefully this is the last stupid quest he makes me go on because he's not very helpful. It's really just been one-sided this entire friendship, if you want to call it that. Someone always wants me to... I wonder how the cult feels that I'm killing literally every single one of their mercenaries. Ah, that's it in your hand. You brought it. Hmm, it's different than I remember it looking. And much bigger, too. She's going to miss it. This was never yours, was it? You had me steal it. We didn't just steal an Olisphos. We stole a family heirloom and a husband's confidence. Without it, he'll be focused on his wife instead of his business. I think she'll enjoy the change of pace. You lied! Again! I don't think I did. I was very particular with my words. You said it was sentimental. It is, just not to me. There wasn't a single lie. That's not how it feels. The only thing that matters is you retrieved the Olisphos and helped me a great deal. And what about me? Now, now, we wash each other's backs, don't we? There's no. a reason you never turn me down, after all. How about I show you how this Olisvos can make all the difference? 
Good. That's not what I meant. Yes, I can turn you down after all. I deserve that. <sighs> that was useless. Didn't get anything out of it. Great. Thank you. Besides XP, which, once again, not really that helpful. Alright, what is next? I thought it was hippo dude that needed me. Yeah, this guy. Where are at? Oh, all over here? Oops, my bad. Oh, this is the doctor, the physician. I remember now. He was one of the people that may know where my mom is actually at. But I'm pretty sure she's on an island with a bunch of pirates that I've been to. But I didn't record that, so we'll just act like nothing happened. Look, you insignificant peon. Tell me where he is, or by Ira, I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. I already told you what I know. I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to ensure public order. Prostrate himself before the gods and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patients. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well... Perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. I'm sure there's no need for raised voices. Who are you? I'm looking for a man named Hippocrates. Yet another crazed follower of the madman himself. Tell your impious master that unless he makes a public apology and soon, this priestess of Ira will gather an army of faithful and shut him down. Out of my way. Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. I thought she was going to kill me this time. <laughs> What's going on? I am Sostratos. Crisis has accused my master Hippocrates of impiety. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. Well, no, but... I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it oh is. Oh my gosh. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. Aren't you the assistant? Come on. I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? My services... Don't come free. Here, take this. Thank you. Though so perhaps Hippocrates can teach you something about helping those in need when you speak with him. Maybe. How will I know who I'm looking for? Head southeast of Hera's Watch, near the cave of... I'll Park. find him. All right. She whiz. So many sick people. Maybe I can just fast travel. Yay! I can just fast travel for the first time in a million years after being in... Attica for probably a month in the in game and walking everywhere. Where at? All right, let's get my horse. Come on, Phobos. He is whatever. I'll just rock climb. Cave of Pan. I wish I knew more about Greek history, because I kind of lost. I only took like one class, and that class was very brief. So, 
What has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. You must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also very busy. This will only take a moment. I won't keep you away from your patients and your students. Observation, experience, and experimentation are crucial for treatment. My followers are learning that. I've come from your clinic in nice Argos. Haircut. So Stratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. So Stratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? Of course I did. I'm a mystios. Ungenerous, but honest at least. What can I call you, Mistios? Cassandra of Sparta. What did you come here for, Cassandra of Sparta? I've been searching for a Spartan woman. What makes you think I would know her? I was told you may have helped her a long time ago. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who pass through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient. And the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and, here and I go. will help you find what you see. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. That's the only problem I have with good, with this this with all Assassin's Creed. It's just oh, you you need something? Gosh dang it! I, I think I need about a million things before you help me. I, I, no one else could have helped. I don't have 15 other apprentices or anything, but I don't know. I think you can help. So stupid. Where am I supposed to be going? Where did they take your uh, notes or whatever, dude? Here. The doctor will see you now funny but also annoying like what is this horse doing better not die good all right can't beeline it Lucratis's notes are well guarded. Why? Well, because they're probably pretty good. <laughs> I, I don't know. Alright, let's just get in, get out. Don't really care about this fort right now. Actually... Built by the Cyclopses. Or so the legend goes. Actually, I do need to, uh, to finish this Best fort. Out of sight. Or pretty close to. I need to kill the, uh, the main guy because... I get the um, the evidence or something that I need to collect. Pull, pull, something, pull something. Don't remember what the word is right now, but um, let's keep killing. Let's switch to fire. Switch back to something non-lethal to me. Crap. Ugh. It locked on. It locked on. I couldn't move. Gosh. Thank you. All of that. Yikes. You know, that was super annoying. I 
you, you probably could see it in the video of me trying to to scroll up like like do this but it was like locking on to me oh my gosh see it does it again I doubt it oh, if you died here go away would ya Gosh dang it. How, how do you go from I'm dead to I'm not dead? There was a full red bar and now it is gone. I do need to check. I need to probably kill that guy. Anybody else who's very important? Of course. Yikes. Come here. He just exploded into blood only. Hey, how's it going? blind too. Lion Fang, okay. Don't know where that came from. Not sure why you just had that in your pocket, but whatever dude. Ornate dagger. Didn't really want that, but alright. I'll take it. Oops. Um, blah, blah, blah. What am I doing here? Oh, look at that. War chest. 5k. Not bad. It's probably the most I've gotten in one chest. Recurve bow. It's probably almost time for me to upgrade my stuff. Sorry, I can't read your name. Elena, El, Alicia. I really couldn't read it there for a second. You suck. See, when you take three arrows to the head. Ooh, hello, another one. I need that bounty. Looks like you didn't get that bounty, and you died pretty quick. Bone mace, nice, nice, nice. Well, who is this? What is this? Knock, knock. What are you doing here? Hippocrates sent me. Your commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself. I'm sorry, they were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. I'll transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Right now. Then you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. I'll wait here for you to finish. If I leave... What's stopping you from running away? 
thinking like a mercenary. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Then make yourself useful and bring me my bone forceps. Oh my God. Some idiot or another is always borrowing them. Then you'll come treat Hippocrates' patient. You have? Is you want that? <laughs> it's an unlimited my amount of. Wife. Please do this. But Apollo willing, they'll make a full recovery. Kay. I'll meet you there. Luckily, they didn't actually make me do it, but still very annoying. While I'm here, let me get the chest, take that person down, need one more pole march, or mark, I really don't know, either way. Need to kill one more captain and then get the loot and then I can fast travel. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, where was it? That's why I gotta mark things. No, I don't need that. Come on. Scares me every time. Not that. That. Kill that captain real quick. I got a lot of six. Let me get some arrows. Best thing about Assassin's Creed is you can just climb up any wall because it's Assassin's Creed. Which saves a lot of time. Pretty sure I was already here, but all good, all good. Got one more supply, war supply left, and then on our way. He's not a very good doctor if he has to look at his notes every time. That's all I'm saying. I, I really, I, I have to memorize. I can't look at notes. I'm not going to look at notes every single time I need something. That's stupid. Just got to learn it, dude. You're not a very good doctor. Sorry. Alright, that should be it. Make sure. No, one more supplies to burn. Oh, I just didn't burn it. Like a dummy. Alright, there we go. Okay. Do need to do that. And then, but for right now, we need to fast travel to here. But I need to get out of the fort. Unfortunately. Which, once again, is another pe pet peeve of mine. Don't need to get out if everyone's dead. But, whatever. Alright. Climb up that cave of pan or whatever again. What was that? You want killed? Uh, looks like I messed that one up. Off we go now. Huh? Huh? Who? Thank you, good 
there. Take some more drop me. Thank you. Alright. Talk to him and hopefully we find out where my mom has been. How's your patient? You were gone so long, he didn't survive. Ooh, that's not good. I'm sorry, Hippocrates. We took more time because this measles helped me save my own patient. Sometimes science requires tough decisions. If we're finished here, I'll take some time and write down what I remember of your nose, Hippocrates. That'd be great. I'll go see the priests for more information about my mother. Come with me. You've had a busy day. Well, it's one life or the other, so... The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. All right. All right. But two more serious matters. I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was born into my mind. It has never left me, and it never will. After, I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient, that I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I sent your mother to the sanctuary of Asclepios. Tell the elder priest a treatment for the sacred disease will soon be available to any patient who needs it. Then he may talk to you. Thank you for everything, Hippocrates. I'll go see him now. Cool. Where was it? All the way over there. Vamos, let's go. All right, should be pretty quick since we're in the open. There's a bear somewhere. Still have quite a few of those um, those exotic animals we need to kill. Haven't run across any, so I haven't recorded any. I need to talk to him. Come on. Uh, I don't don't mean to. Yeah. Okay. Good. Straight ahead is the most clo is the closest one. 100 meters. Gosh. There he is. Get over there when I need to. Oh, rip. I can't climb up this wall of all walls. They're like, nah. All of a sudden, huh? Filthy. Disgusting creatures. I can't work under these conditions. If you're here for your purification bath, you'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. I need to know about a Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that eagle of yours shit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries. Especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. <laughs> what? I never mentioned the baby. Think you're so smart? <laughs> Many women pass through with babies. Now leave me. I have my own problems to deal with. Maybe I can help you. Snakes! Snakes. <laughs> They're everywhere! I'm about to kill this dude. Escaped from the snakes! We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. The snakes killed someone? A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. 
Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. I'll take care of your snake problem. I'm about to kill this dude regardless. Mm, where? <gasps> this? I don't see any snakes. like eight snakes at once the answer is outsmart them and is the bathhouse free of snakes I carved up every single one of those slimy man like it my babies what have you done to my babies I don't your care. snakes infested my bathhouse a sick man is dead because of them you you did this yep I only did what Milenor told me to do. What? How dare you? What do you mean? I never said kill them. How could you, Milenor? You'll pay for this. I curse you both to Hades. Thank you. Well? Well what? How are you going to lie to him I act like you did and tell me to get rid of him? Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Miven, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> He's mute, I guess. <laughs> All right. If I see you again, you're dead. Just so you know. Fair warning. I like your snakes. At least I got the name. Miven. Mido. All right. I don't know who that is. I don't know where that is. So let's keep going. House. Careful. Don't want to be caught here. <laughs> Greetings, young one. Come to offer us Clipios a sacrifice? No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. Uh -huh. My mother came through here. And unless you want me to paint these stones with your blood, you'll tell me what you know. Please. It's Chrysis. She said that anyone who talks to the eagle bearer will be paying a visit to Hades. Then don't talk. Just bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then. Quickly, we must be discreet. Lead the way. Just tell me where it's at, dude. Where are we walking? This so way. Slow. Over here. You could have just said point. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. Oh. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bearer. Still walking. Could have said by the tree, could have said... I don't know. Ah, I remember this tale. Written during the time of the great Elod revolt. You would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them. Then Rhea touched it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these treatments. Hippocrates is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. 
showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thucydides, Evripides, the petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for realism. But what really inspires is greatness, magic, gods. This one tells the tale of a man with sword wounds. Not it. A pack of dogs licked him clean and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. Next. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope, Eagle Bearer. Well, I'm losing mine. Tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. But it was not always so. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests. Taught the ways of the gods. She learned uh, very quickly. Was very strong-willed. And uh, before too long, it was the priests who listened to her. She was loved. But there's an anger in her heart that could not be soothed. Sounds more so like it. When her methods turned to madness, anyone who opposed her got... Um, got what? I've already said too much. And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads of Sparta. Came here with child, sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. Mm -hmm. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her troubles. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child... Could not be saved. False. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? The good priest here was teaching me how to heal sword wounds. Um, yes, sword wounds. Oh, really? And what is the treatment for sword wounds, according to Timoxenos here? He didn't get the answer out. Dogs. What about them? They lick you. you. Use dogs to lick the wounds clean. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Who will bring offerings to the gods when our patients learn to heal themselves? <laughs> no, no, of course not. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Uh. Have your treatment, Mistios. Now, please leave the sanctuary. Finally, this game's actually funny. Wow. Dogs. <laughs> Very good. We can't give up all of our treatments. Uh, all right. Olive tree. Move. That old priest hiding by the tree. Tree of Heracles. I'm not sure if it's loved more for its legend or its olives. Now, where is that priest? Ah. I thank you for your discretion, Eagle Bearer. Chrysis has many eyes and ears throughout the sanctuary. What else can you tell me about the Spartan woman and child? The woman left the child's blanket behind. We tried to return it, but it was too painful a memory for her. Where did she go? What happened to the child? <laughs> Useless so information. This was right. You knew the rules, Timoxenos. You will suffer her wrath. Please, Tos. Please. Get behind me, priest. I'll deal with these two. Look, if y'all want to fight, we can fight. 
this is what I'm talking about. I have full health. So stupid snakes that I had to kill. <sighs> I kept my explosive bullet arrow thing out. My gosh, I swear. This game is insane. How is... Yes, okay. Maybe he was a little close. But how does that one shot me like really it's just annoying I'm fast travel I'm skipping through most of that conversation again because don't need to don't need to rehear things That old priest, hiding by the tree. Uh, I... What the... the what? Please get... I will bury you! You? When did you get here? Might as well kill this guy. I see you do anything suspicious, I'm killing you for the drachme. Just punch you in the face, how about that? Today's the day you earn your freedom. Join my crew and sail with what us. What level were you? Because that was sad. Can we talk about the ti the lions? Why do I keep on messing that up? The lions. Why is there lions here? Another one? Can I just talk to you? Asclepios be praised. May the sick find peace. This will be an easy pay. Onward and upward. Upward and onward. Do that later. Alright, alright, alright. Let's, let's get that information and then we'll go from there. Probably be done for the day. It's already 11 o'clock. He's over there. <laughs> what did that tell me at all? Oh, whatever. I'm really curious on what snakes have to do with um, physicians and doctors. I feel like it's kind of opposite, you know. Seeing sickness as the rest, this is very troubling. May Asclepio spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. Is there anything I can do to help? I was warned of the eagle bearer. Wants nothing but drachmi for blood. I was told. We're wasting time, priest. We can discuss what I want when this sick girl's needs are taken care of. Her illness seems to have no cure, and it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need a beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepios to see. What did you have in mind? <laughs> there is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here. Towards the coast. I'm, but I. I'll. I, I, I got all my information. I'm good. Be careful now. I'm watching you. 
Alright, I'll be careful. Thank you. I know I'm going the wrong way, I just want to kill this guy. I'm kind of addicted to killing these guys. Killed so many of them. No, I already killed you. Or no, I didn't. Where's my horse? Is there a speed limit? No. Shut up. Don't need to slow down. Try and find the best way to get up there. The white bone. Am I too late? He died willingly. I'll take his heart for the sacrifice. It will have to do. Oh, not the best feeling. More captives? Where? You can't run forever. I have you now. <sighs> yes, thank you. I don't see the other captive. Uh, the whole willing heart thing is going to work out. But we'll try. Guess it doesn't really matter how far away I shoot it, he's still tied up. I'll do that another time. I'm not going to. again another time <clears throat> all right let's go yeah uh, let's do this and then be done yeah. 200 meters not bad probably should have fast traveled but not a big deal Even though it was longer distance, I was on my horse, so it's probably faster anyways. Please help! Did you find the way? I couldn't bring it back alive. But I did manage to collect its heart. This won't be enough to please Asclepios. The beast died unwillingly, and with just the heart, we'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Mythios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of our lease. If I die, people will starve. I beg you, my 
husband was killed by the sickness. I have two small children. Who will take care of them if I die? I am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing. <coughs> it's okay. Give the sacrifice to them. Okay. You did this. You choose whose prayers get heard by the gods. Pray for the farmer. The bull was his. Its sacrifice will help feed the people of Argolis. Thank you, Mistress. Very well. The rest she just the walked away. The gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. You've met her? Her visit to the sanctuary is legendary. But sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Nidon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often. That is, before he cut out his tongue. Hmm. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guest house. Spends a lot of time being tended to by the servants. Thank you. I won't forget you helped me. And these people won't forget you helped them. <sighs> yep. Alright, well. I think next time we'll uh, talk to the elder priest. Finally find our mom. And then we'll go from there. I'm gonna figure out why there's snakes everywhere. It's it's bothering me. Nice. The arrow's stuck in it. Alright, goodbye.